Never worry about passing another nursing school exam ever again. Head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube to join for free. Welcome back, nursing students. In our previous video, we explored the world of prefixes in medical terminology. Today, we're diving into another essential component, suffixes. So let's start off with a simple question here. What the heck is a suffix? Well, a suffix is a word part that is added to the end of a root word to modify or simply change its meaning. Suffixes can provide valuable information about a procedure, a condition, or a specific area of the body being referenced. Now let's move on to some common suffixes and what they mean. Starting with itis. Anything ending in itis means inflammation. An example of this suffix is appendicitis, which is simply inflammation of the appendix. Next is ectomy, which means surgical removal. An example is appendectomy which simply means surgical removal of the appendix. How about ology, which simply means the study of. So for example, cardiology means the study of the heart. How about plasty? This is surgical repair or reconstruction. For example, rhinoplasty is surgical repair of the nose. Rhino, that's so rude. Now how about scope? This instrument is used for viewing. An example is endoscope. This is simply an instrument used for viewing the inside of the body. What about gram? Well, this is simply recording or an image. For example, electrocardiogram or an EKG, we have a recording of the heart's electrical activity. How about pathy? This describes disease or abnormal condition. For example, neuropathy, this is a disease or abnormality inside the nervous system. Next is lysis, meaning dissolution, destruction, or even separation. An example here is dialysis, the separation of waste products from the blood. How about tomy, meaning incision or cutting? A great example is a tracheotomy, an incision into the trachea. Common suffixes include megaly, simply meaning enlargement. So what do you think hepatomegaly means? Well, it's simply enlargement of the liver. Okay, next one is really interesting, rhea. This one means discharge or flow. What do you think a great example would be? Well, that's right, diarrhea. Excessive explosive flow of discharge from the bowels. But enough about Chipotle. Another example is rhinorrhea, discharge or runny nose. The next term is malacia, meaning softening. An example is osteomalacia, softening of the bones. How about stenosis? This means narrowing or constriction. An example is aortic stenosis, narrowing of that aortic valve. And our last example here is side, meaning killing or destroying. An example is bactericide, a substance that kills bacteria. Woo! Okay, now that you know some basic suffix examples, let's see some suffixes in action with more examples and explanations to reinforce your learning. First up is gastritis. This word combines the root gaster, meaning stomach, with the suffix itis, meaning inflammation. So putting it together, it's simply inflammation of the stomach lining with gastritis. How about appendectomy? Well, the root word append is referring to the appendix, and it's combined with the suffix ectomy, basically meaning surgical removal. Therefore, appendectomy describes surgical removal of the appendix. Next is cardiology. This one should be simple. The root is cardi or cardio, meaning heart, not cardi B and combined with the suffix ology, the study of, the term refers to the study of the heart and its functions. How about rhinoplasty? Well, the root word rhino, meaning nose, is combined with the suffix plasty, meaning surgical repair. So it's a term that describes surgical repair or reshaping, or basically plastic surgery, of the nose. Next is electrocardiogram, the EKG. The prefix electro means electrical, and is combined with the root Cardi or cardio, meaning the heart, and the suffix here is gram, the recording up. So the term refers to the recording of the heart's electrical activity. And very lastly is hepatomegaly. The root word hepato refers to the liver, and it's combined with the suffix megaly for enlargement. So hepatomegaly refers to enlargement of the liver. As you can see, mastering suffixes is an essential step to decoding the intricate language of medical terminology. So Keep practicing and don't be too hard on yourself. You'll soon become fluent in this essential aspect of nursing education. Okay, so that's it for today's lesson on suffixes. Stay tuned for more videos on medical terminology.
And don't forget to click that link in the description below for way more helpful nursing content, including our colorful study guides that pair these long medical terms with a bunch of easy to remember memory tricks. Make sure to comment below if you have any questions and thanks so much for watching.